This video is sponsored by our Happy Mind Challenge. Learn to find more ease in yourself, to have a better relation with yourself and all the pillars that fundamentally support a happier, healthier you. Yo dudes! Okay, so we're so excited about our upcoming Happy Mind Challenge that we didn't have time to do a recipe bit for you. So, we decided to do a recipe about loose social connections, a really important thing for well-being in every sense. It improves your ability to empathize. So what, what is loose social? Loose social interaction is the simple thing of saying hello and having those little chats like, isn't it a lovely day? So my wife's Polish uh, and when we first we grew up in Greystones where it's really common. Everyone says hello to each other and kind of knows each other's business. And I remember when I went to Poland first uh, and my cousin, or Justina's cousin, was I was walking around with her and she, I was saying hello to everyone. Cześć, dzień dobry, cześć, cześć. And she was really embarrassed. And when I went home, she told me, you don't do that, that's really rude. And I was saying how important it is for a sense of belonging. Um, and I looked into the research and it's really clear that these loose social interactions are so important for our well-being, our ability to empathise with others and our greater sense of group identity. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. So how I understand loose social interactions is, there's, so we have our friends, we have our family, but those loose social interactions are those ones where you say, hi, how are you? You don't really know the person that well, but you can greet them, you can talk about the weather, you can ask them about their dog. Oh, I like your new runners. You know, it's those really random, small little interactions. And the research says that, okay, when we're, when we're looking for a mate, that is when we've got the most amount of social... So typically, between the years... Can the, I finish that? But I okay, but it's that. typically in our 20s and 30s. These are the years that we're typically more searching for a mate. Our social networks, our social circles are much greater and typically our greater sense of group identity and well-being can be at its peak. As we tend to get older and over the age of kind of 35, typically our social networks or social circles wane a little bit. And as a result, as we get older, these loose social connections are so important. And by social connections, I don't mean via social media, I mean real face to face. Uh, so, so I guess what we're saying here is part of the recipe. So our Happy Mind Challenge is all about cultivating people to have a better relationship with themselves and ultimately to have a happy mind. And obviously, like a huge important component of being well is as humans, we have this core need for a sense of belonging, for a sense of connection, for a sense of community. And these, so these loose social connections, you might think they're just fluff. You might think they don't have any real value, but they really are important to your overall well-being. Research in 2014 in uh, people, in students in a classroom, they found out that as students, even if they were introverted or extroverted, when they talked with a greater range of their class, even if they didn't know them, there was a greater sense of group identity, greater sense of happiness. And this kind of further kind of illustrated the importance of even those small little chats on the fringes are really, really important. Woo! So, uh, okay, no, can so I get a couple more? He's full of information for you today. One more, uh, one okay. more, and that's it, okay. One more, I think it really improves, and this is a story, it kind of helps us empathize with each other and see things from different people's perspective a lot more. Um, this is a friends of our, Linda and Detty. Uh, they're now in their 70s, but I remember they did one of our courses and they came into the happy pair one, one day and they were these really like bright, shiny people that were so enthusiastic. And I was just chatting away to them and I told them we were swimming in the sea every day and I was like, I told them, yeah, we'll be down there at sunrise tomorrow. See you there. And I thought there's not a chance they're going to show up. And uh, they showed up then the next day and I was like, wow, well, Linda and Daddy are here swimming. They didn't swim that day, but they came back the next day with their togs. And now they're such a dear part of our community that really help us see things from a different perspective. They're so wise, so beautiful, and it enriches our life in so many ways. They say it takes... 30 hours. Can I say, can I say that bit? Okay. They, they say it takes 30 hours to build someone who's like a casual friend. That so, doesn't mean anything romantically, just no, casual mean, friends. Yeah. So really just to make a friendship. So really loose social interactions, any kind of interaction is some kind of contribution towards that because all friendships start from, from somewhere. And ultimately now, one of the main kind of roots of lots of diseases now is loneliness, it's isolation. So I guess part of our message and this recipe, this is a recipe, not necessarily a food recipe. We want to do an experiment. We want to use the comment section as the ability to build some loose social connections. I know this is digital, but this can have that effect of belonging and that sense of togetherness. So, so, de so down below, if you're up for taking part in our experiment, please write something there, write them about yourself. 
write if you want to be asked questions, but it's a means of really catalyzing a conversation and building loose social interactions. Where are people from? Let us know where you're from. Let us know your age. Let we, us know some we, of your interests. We've got to meet lots of people who follow us on our YouTube channel. They've come and visit us. They've hung out. It's a wonderful opportunity to connect. So please, involve, take part in this experiment. And we're going to finish by just telling you about our Happy Mind so course. So our Happy Mind challenge, it starts Monday, March the 22nd. It's a four week challenge. We've partnered with our, our, sport, our peak performance coach, Jerry He's Hussey. He's a sports, a sports psychologist uh, and ourselves. And it's really ultimately about having a better relationship with yourself. We've got the lifestyle habits that help underpin a happy mind. So obviously it's whole food, plant-based. We've got yoga, we've got breath work, we've got Jerry does a lot of kind of um, the softer side. guided meditations and he does, we've got a workbook with kind of stuff that asks you the challenging questions. It'll be really, really fun. It's four weeks. There's, there's hopefully going to be more than a thousand, maybe even two thousand people going through it. So uh, yeah, we'll put a link to that down below. So uh, Thanks Mel for watching this. Here's to loose social interactions and uh, yeah. wishing you a splendid day. Cheers! Cheers.